Radiation toxicity. In the past months, I've seen two people with severe radiation toxicity. Um, the one lady came to me, she was on two blood pressure tablets. Her blood pressure was sky high, 169 over 120, and it was stuck there, even though she was on tablets. Um, she was severely exhausted. She couldn't go in near any, ready, any, any computer plug, any appliance. She couldn't even go near her cell phone. She could hardly sleep. And um, her iron levels were really low, as were her iodine levels. And on some quest after some questioning, I realized that she was sleeping um, with her bed a alongside a plug socket behind her head. So this plug socket creates an electromagnetic field for about a meter or a meter and a half. So while she was sleeping, she was actually nuking herself. Every single cell division, every nucleus, every DNA division was getting affected by the electromagnetic frequencies. She also had no protection on her cell phones and there was a cell phone mast very close to where she lived. So she was had also um, a, a, a liver that needed severe detoxifying. She had accumulated lots of uh, heavy metal minerals and other environmental toxins and parasites. So the first thing we did is we, we started to detoxify her. Um, and I'll tell you what products we gave her in a moment because the second lady that came in, actually this one was a week ago, so exhausted she couldn't drive, she could hardly even function and I was really, really, really worried about her. Uh, similar situation, she's living um, near a uranium plant um, out in Johannesburg North and um, she had been living in, in uh, Swaziland without radiation prior to this. So. It's, it's got a little bit to do with where she lives now, but um, not completely. And um, she was absolutely exhausted. As I say, her liver was also um, completely toxic, not detoxifying her at all. Low iodine, low iron, low gold, silver, copper, nickel um, products. And um, her uterus was completely blown up. In fact, they told her she had to have a hysterectomy last week. And her hormones, her neurotransmitters, her enzymes, all completely, completely low. Her protein building blocks completely low as well. So what I did with both of them was make sure that there was nourishment in the body. And I gave them the uh, stress defense shield over 30 nutrients um, formula that I have to make sure that the building blocks were there for repair. And then I started cleansing and giving them um, some nice herbs to absorb and deflect radiation. One of the first things I gave was iodine, which is a known substance to deflect radiation. I also gave shizandra berry, which is an adaptogenic herb, also known to deflect radiation. They were also given zeolite, a paramagnetic volcanic rock dust suitable for oral consumption. And this product actually lies in the intestine and grabs any radiation, also heavy metals, also uric acid, also parasites that exist in the body and alkalinizes the body because both of them were really acidic. I gave them organic brown kelp, which has got sodium al al alginate in it, and that also binds and deflects radiation in the body. And they also got almost gold, which is the um, M-state gold, silver, copper, nickel, iridium, palladium, rhodium, platinum, precious metal minerals. Very, very important from an electromagnetic charge in the body to restore the charge and deflect radiation. And then loads and loads and loads of cell oxygen. And within a couple of days... The first lady's blood pressure came down to 139 over 100. And the day, a day after that, 135 over 95. So she's really coming down. She's already nearly ready to start removing herself off the um, blood pressure tablets that she's on. Very, very exciting. And the second lady um, has literally has restored herself in one week. And um, she's busy... Uh, continuing to nourish herself and deflect all these radiation toxicities. And when I measure the two of them on the eductor, the quantum eductor, I'm seeing that the radiation levels are coming down. So I'm really thrilled. And all these products are available on 365 Healthy by Choice. Anybody who's stuck with severe radiation toxicity, please contact me on info at 365 healthybychoice.com and we can get the same 
procedure going for you. I also, just in, in closing, gave them a, a grounding mat each to use. A grounding mat you plug into the uh, socket of the plug. It's off because it's only attached to the earth and of the building and the building's earth. So when you take your voltmeter and you touch the the mat with your one of your fingers, your voltage reading goes to zero, which is Sherman's resonance. So I gave them that to sleep on, to drive in their car with, and to work at their computer with as long as they're touching it, and asked them also to walk bare feet twice a day for 30 minutes on the ground or grass, to also rebalance the body and deflect electromagnetic frequencies. So there'll be more on this to come, but uh, this is just really, really, really good news, and please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.